Hi everyone, my family flew from Boston to Iceland for about five hours, this time to see the Northern Lights. This is a very magical natural phenomenon of light at night. You may ask, why can't my family see it in the night sky in Boston, but um, to fly all the way to Iceland? Well, because the Northern Lights are the easiest to see in places near the Arctic Circle, like Iceland, they happen when particles from the sun collide with Earth's atmosphere, creating colorful lights in the sky, but city lights and pollution can't hide them, so we need dark, clear skies, something Boston can't offer. The Northern Lights need dark and clear night skies to be visible. Mimi. Far away from city lights and air pollution, the darker the skies are, the better chance for the lights to shine. Such a good brother. Aww. Pollution scatters the light in the atmosphere, making it harder to see the roars glow. That's why we're on a bus heading out to the countryside in Iceland, hoping to see the amazing northern lights. That said, it doesn't mean that if we go to Iceland, we will definitely what? see the aurora. The aurora depends on solar activity, weather, and timing. Fingers crossed for a clear sky tonight. Actually, to catch the northern lights, we are not sure that we will see it, okay? Let's hope that we can. I know, super exciting. Or else that will be a scam. Flight <laughs> <laughs> attendants, prepare for takeoff, please. Iceland is one of the best places in the world to see the Northern Lights, thanks to its location near the Arctic Circle. Every year, over 2 million tourists visit Iceland, and many come just for this magical experience. The long, dark winter nights, especially from September to April, create the perfect conditions for spotting this natural wonder. If you visit Iceland during the Aurora season, chances of seeing the Northern Lights are about 70 to 80 percent. Wow. So but uh, this is generally the beginning. So normally when we see something like this, then we hope that it will get a little bit stronger, right? So this is a good sign. I see you're all Yay. manifesting there. Welcome. <laughs> How do you like The northern lights are colorful dancing lights in the night sky. They look like magic streaks. Wow, look at that. The most common color is green, but you might also see purple, pink, yellow, or even red. The colors depend how high in the sky the particles collide and which gases they hit. Green, the most common color, is produced by oxygen at lower altitudes. Red occurs when oxygen is present at higher altitudes, while blue and purple are caused by nitrogen. Tonight, to go hunting for the northern lights, the bus takes us to two amazing spots. Our first stop is Leirvogsvatn, a beautiful lake surrounded by mountains and far from city lights. When we arrived, the bus turned off its engine and lights, then voila, the sky lit up with dancing green and purple lights. Did you see? Yeah. Wow. They look like glowing ribbons or a wave in the sky. So sometimes we'll just see an arch, it's almost like a rainbow, uh, not rainbow colors, but the shape is just like a rainbow. Other times it'll look like a curtain, and then if we're very lucky, we can see like a corona. So that just looks like a crown over your head, and that's when you're actually standing right underneath it. So that doesn't happen very often, but when it does, it feels it feels like you're in a shield. So if you think of Star Trek or something like that, it's like a cloaking device called radio. I also think of a snake. Our second stop to hunt for the Northern Lights is in the Valera National Park, a Spruce Skull World Heritage Site, but get ready, it's cold at night. The temperature here can drop as low as minus 10 degrees or even colder. Grrr. So why would anyone stand in freezing weather to see the Northern Lights? Because it's absolutely worth it. The lights here are breathtaking, and the park is one of the best parts to see them. Why? It's far from city lights, with wide open spaces and no tall buildings to block your view. The clear, dark skies make the auroras shine even brighter. So yes, it's freezing, but standing here under the magical sky makes it all worth it. Sometimes nature's wonders are worth braving the cold. Well, this is the big difference. Star, 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 and then it forms like a pot, and then that star there is the North Star. Wow. And that's what the people used to use to navigate the seas to see, okay, where's the north? If you don't have GPS, you're gonna look to the stars to help you navigate. Wow. Hi, Mary. Hi. Behind you is the aurora. Do you see that? Yeah, it's so pretty. Wow, do you see that? The aurora has pink 
beast tonight. This is super rare and so exciting to witness. Wow. OMG! Pink auroras happen when solar particles dive deeper into the atmosphere, reaching altitudes below 100 kilometers. At this level, they collide with nitrogen instead of oxygen, creating the pink and red colors. It wow. looks like it's moving up a tiny bit. Wow! Oh my God, this is so cool, Gob! Did mom see it? No. Oh, no. Great! We're so lucky. Little auroras are rare because they happen when the Earth's magnetic field is less active, which doesn't happen very often. Bigger solar storms usually create the green or purple lights lower in the sky, and those brighter colors make it harder to see the soft red glow. Imagine if you can touch the aurora. I'm touching it! That's amazing, huh? Uh huh. Wow, all the way up into the sky. It's not green. Seeing the northern lights with your own eyes is magical, but the colors may not be as bright in photos. Therefore, to capture the aurora, you need a camera or a newer smartphone with night mode. Older phones, like early iPhones, don't have sensors sensitive enough for low light. But newer ones have advanced sensors that work better in low light. Combined with night mode, they can process the light of the aurora, making the colors and patterns more vivid. In some cultures, the people believe that witnessing the northern lights is a special moment when wishes can come true. In Scandinavian folklore, the aurora is seen as a gift from the heavens, and spotting it is a lucky moment to make a wish. Oh. You can make a wish. I already made my wish. My wish is to see this game. Even today, many travelers treat the lights as a magical opportunity. The idea is that the beauty of the aurora will carry our dreams into the universe. Giving them a little extra pounds to come true. Happy New Year!